Hello, stock investors. I'm Jerry Ryan, the entrepreneur abroad, coming to you from beautiful Phuket, Thailand. And today we're going to be talking about the $1.2 million infrastructure bill that just passed the Senate and which stocks we should be looking at to buy. For those new to my channel, welcome. And here you will not find any hype, BS, or drama, but you will find a logical data-driven approach to investing. If you get anything out of this video, please click that like and subscribe button. And to help you out, I've got a few links for you down below. One is from Webull to get some free stocks and I've got a special link for you from Tip Ranks as well, which is one of my favorite research sites. And you definitely want to check out my Patreon where you can get my live trade alerts, follow my portfolios and receive our daily hot stock list. We've got a lot going on in our private discord where we discuss everything from daily trades to option plays and that's where you can download my stock indicators as well. Let's kick things off with a success story from PTL. Jerry, good pick with HMHC, up over 11% with good earnings and I own it because of you. And if you look at the chart on HMHC, it is absolutely beautiful. And if you see the yellow eights on the chart, that is the buy the bounce indicator showing us great bounce opportunities to get into the stock. And in the last week, Houghton Mifflin, which is a real fun name, is up 16.5%. You can get the trade alerts and buy the bounce indicator in my Patreon if you are interested. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. The Senate passed the $1 trillion infrastructure package with bipartisan support yesterday, putting it on track to possibly be passed by the House and signed into law by the President. The Senate passing the bill isn't an automatic guarantee that any stocks will go up, and some analysts believe much of the bill's positive impact has already been priced into the overpriced financial markets. But I disagree because I know when multi-million dollar contracts are signed by companies that that news will move the stock's price. I'm a big believer in following the money, and if we can find already successful stocks that Will benefit from the infrastructure bill. So today's video is about which stocks and sectors will benefit from the infrastructure bill. Here's the breakdown of where the money is going. $550 billion is going into water projects, the electrical grid, and safety efforts. $110 billion for roads, bridges, and other projects. $66 billion for rail. $65 billion for broadband internet. And $55 billion for water systems. The play now is to identify the stocks that could benefit and get in early because they are solid companies and then to pay wait for the stocks to go up. We want to get in early for the right stocks and then reap the rewards later. All of the stocks I'm covering today were up yesterday with a trillion dollar infrastructure bill passing the Senate. Is that a coincidence? Maybe. But whether it was a coincidence or not, all of these stocks are possible infrastructure plays. Our first stock to consider is ChargePoint Holdings, sicker CHPT, and Biden originally wanted to build 500,000 electrical vehicle charging stations in the U.S. by 2030. And ChargePoint, they build customized charging stations. They've been in business since 2007. They've delivered more than 90 million charges, and they claim 60% of the Fortune 500 companies are their clients. Now, looking at the charts here, we can see they were coming down and going sideways. I would personally wait for this stock to firm up, and I'd want to see that 20-day moving average cross over the 50-day moving average and see an uptrend like this start again. Time is on our side. We don't have to be in a hurry. Other things I can tell you right now, these guys do have a squeeze alert going on, which we like, and they've got clear momentum to the upside. So if you wanted to be in early on this, you could consider it now. Our second stock to consider is Cleveland Cliffs, ticker CLF, and they're the largest flat roll steel producer in North America. And flat roll steel is used in industries such as automobile, domestic appliances, shipbuilding, and construction. And it's just a no-brainer that if there's a big infrastructure bill like we have now, steel producers are going to be a benefactor of that bill. And Cleveland Cliffs is a stock that I've played frequently in the past, and we've done very well with it. And if we look at it, we can see it's in a real nice upward trend. We can look at our TOA bar, which you can grab from my private discord if you want. Everything is green, which we love to see. And they've actually got some crazy gains going on. In one week, they're up 6.7%. One month, 12.7%. Six months, 63%. And oh my goodness, in one year, they're up 331.5%. Next up, we've got John Deere, ticker DE. And this is another company we know well and have done well with in the past. And John Deere, they make a lot more than just tractors. And they are a major producer of construction and forestry equipment. And specifically, equipment used in earth moving and road building. They've got infrastructure written all over them. They're currently starting a real nice upward trend. We've got the 20 day moving average over the 50. We just picked up a JR1 buy signal. And then yesterday they had a real nice 
up day as well. Looking at our momentum dream indicator, we are in a nice buy zone. And look at our MACD indicator, we are positive and everything is looking good on this stock. Number four is Eaton Corporation, ticker ETN. They're up 2.8% on the week and Eaton is a major supplier of electrical components and systems and part of the big infrastructure picture. They're also really big in wind and solar farms and these will need to be integrated into the national grid and Eaton could be a huge benefactor in an infrastructure play. Now let's take a look at their chart and this is what we love to see, a nice set of railroad track all pointing up exactly what we want. They also pay a 1.8% dividend yield. Their trail stop is only 4% which tells me this is a very non-volatile stock and that's something that I love in this current market. And then if we look at our momentum indicator, we are in the buy zone. Everything is looking good on the MACD as well. And if we look at earnings, they were estimated at $1.55 and they came in at $1.72. So they're beating earnings as well. Definitely a play to consider. Up next, we've got Herc Holdings, ticker HRI, and these guys are a construction rental company, and any companies in this niche should benefit. So you can also look at URI and WSC. The recommended trail stop on them is 9%, so they're very stable. Looking at our momentum indicator, we just hit the green buy zone, although I love it whenever we come in closer to the zero line, and on our MACD, we're positive as well. Number six on the day is Martin Marietta Materials, and they specialize in the inputs used in large construction and infrastructure projects, including crushed sand and gravel products, ready mix concrete and asphalt, and paving products and services. Everything on the TOS bar is green. They've got a low PE ratio. Our momentum indicator looks good. MACD is looking good. These guys are heading the right direction. They did go sideways for just a bit, but this is what we want to see, the beginning of a new set of railroad tracks, and we just picked up a buy signal yesterday. Number seven is Nucor, ticker NUE, and they are the largest domestic steel maker in North America and the Biden administration's preference for buying American should give Nucor an advantage over its larger foreign competitors. They got hit with a double whammy yesterday. First, they got the infrastructure bill, which was a real plus for them. They were up more than 10%. We also picked up a JR3 buy signal on them. And Nucor successfully completed its acquisition of Cornerstone Building Brands insulated metal panels business for a cash purchase price of roughly $1 billion. This is probably the safest play from today's 10 stocks in my humble opinion, so definitely check these guys out. They also pay a 1.4% dividend yield and their volume is up 95% and check out their trail stop, nice low 9%. Number eight is Rexnord Corporation, ticker RXN, and this is another example of a fundamentally strong company that's doing really well. In one week up 4.5%, one month 12.6%, and come across six months 44.9%, one year 88%. So these guys are just rocking it out on a steady basis. And Rexner's water management provides plumbing components and related accessories for commercial, industrial, and here's the big one, municipal and institutional settings. So they're perfectly set up for an infrastructure play and they're already a very successful company. Number nine is Vulcan Materials, ticker VMC. And if you expect to see a lot of roads paved or repaired in the coming years, VMC is America's largest producer of construction aggregates, which includes things like crushed stone, sand, and, and gravel. They are perfectly positioned for this infrastructure bill. Their volume is up 11%, trail stop is nice and low at 6%, and they pay a negligible dividend yield. And our last stock today is the ETF PAVE. And PAVE holds 100 stocks from small cap to large cap companies that derive at least 50% of revenue from infrastructure construction, materials, and equipment supply and related services in the US. This is your lower risk safe play. So if you're looking for just one play that's going to capture some of this movement, this would be the one I recommend. We'll see that they've got a very low trail stop of 4%, so that means that they're not very volatile. Their volume is up 27%, and if we look at their last year's gains, everything is steadily going up. I mean, one year, 54.7%. That's nothing to sneeze at. And now the Biden administration plans on throwing $1.2 trillion into infrastructure. Up next, we've got our question of the day. When should I expect profits on infrastructure stocks? If you're looking for instant profits, then you've got the wrong approach because the infrastructure bill still needs to pass the house, then be signed into law, and even then that doesn't guarantee success. The best way to use this video is as exposure to possible infrastructure stocks and then to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. I've added all of these stocks to my watch list and I've played many of them before and will buy them again. I have no doubt many will go up and my favorites are the 
the ones that are fundamentally strong and have momentum already on their side. Thanks so much for watching and if you got anything out of today's video, smash that like, subscribe, and notification bell so I know you want me to keep the no hype, no BS videos coming. Have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one.